And now, introducing to you first fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing red trunks, trimmed in gold. He is training out of MBB Boxing in Whittier by way of East LA. He weighed in 120 pounds. His record, nine wins, three losses, one draw, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Xavier the Mongoose Montalongo. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing brown and black trunks. He is hailing out of Chicago, Illinois. He weighed in 120 pounds. His record, six wins, one loss, one draw, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Joshua. Career Junior! Once again, our referee, Jack Reese, to give final instructions. Welcome back, everybody, to Ed Holmes' Battle of the Rising Stars, where we've got another great matchup here tonight be hit be between Javier the Mongoose Montalongo and Joshua Greer Jr. out of Chicago. Sure, many of you are familiar with the Mongoose. He's fought here with Ed Holmes and the Battle of the Rising Stars many times and has done very well. But he's also fought all over the world and the country. He's fought in Maryland, North Dakota, and Mexico as well. But he did fight at the Quiet Canyon in March 2015 and won versus Jesus Sandoval. And Javier Montalongo's last fight was right here at the Bonaventure where he beat Daniel Covedo. And that put him at 9-3-1 and one with two KOs. And that'll be the mongoose in the red and yellow trunks. Joshua Greer Jr. coming in out of Chicago with an awesome 6-1-1 one one record, two KOs. He's won his last three fights. Oh, but goes down, I think, he, he more tripped right there. A little bit of a trip. But as I said, Greer... He's won his last three. Joshua Greer actually won his last fight in Phoenix, Arizona, where he beat Jesus Pacheco. That was at the Valentino's Event Center in Phoenix. He had one tough loss that came in Pennsylvania back in December of 2015 where Stephen Fulton beat him, who was 7-0. and oh. So that was a, a strong fighter that Joshua Greer faced back then and lost. But uh, at 6-1, and one, that was his only tough loss to a guy who was 7-0. and oh. So uh, the Mongoose is going to have his hands full with Joshua Greer here tonight. Joshua fighting in the sparkly blue, orange, and white trunks. Javier the Mongoose in the red and yellow already showing a little bit of inflammation around the face. But teeing off there a little bit on Greer there on the ropes. And uh, many of us who've seen the Mongoose fight before know this guy doesn't go down easy as well. Nine, three, and one. We wind down about 40 seconds left in round one. Bonaventure Hotel Easter weekend here. 2016 at Ed Holmes Battle of the Rising Stars. Ooh, Greer throws a couple punches, just don't quite connect. But the mongoose was exposed. 10 seconds. Ooh, mongoose taunting. Greer a little bit and then takes a takes a left of the face. A little uppercut body shot there from Mongoose there against the ropes at the end, but uh, uh, pretty close round there in round one. Javier Montalongo has the experience. Sorry about that. I got got my mic got bumped. Try to fix that a little bit.
Javier Manalongo having the experience to to hold this down. He's a tough fighter. He's a quick fighter. He got the name the Mongoose just from that reason, being quick. And you saw that in that early exchange where he popped off three or four shots uh, in about a second and a half. Be anxious to see how he comes back here in round two now that he's got a little more info about his opponent. Mongoose standing up now, bouncing around, good on his feet, comes out for round two. Ed Holmes, Battle of the Rising Stars. Now we've got Greer center of the ring pressing the action, and Mongoose into sort of a, almost a football tackle. Ooh, Greer with a couple shots, but again, missing the Mongoose. He's quick. The Mongoose continues to stick and move and, and dodge a lot of the shots coming in from Greer. Mongoose back on the ropes, but just sort of moving side to side. Mongoose light on his feet, moving, good movement, good defense. Greer continuing to sort of press the action, coming in on the attack. There, Greer tries to get a nice right-left combination, just doesn't quite hit again. Mongoose moving around quite a bit. He's, he's a tough target. Greer, Greer did land a body shot there. Looks like Greer finally staying in his punches a little longer, keeping his head in the action long enough to connect. A few of his punches earlier in the round missing because he was more back on his heels. Another nice body shot from Greer. It seems if he can keep his head and balance inside the pocket, he's able to connect more effectively on the mongoose. Ooh, Greer almost threw the mongoose, tried to throw him down there. You get a little caught up. Nice triple jab from the mongoose, keeping uh, Greer back a little bit. And the mongoose is quick. You got to watch him. He's he not only plays a good defensive game, but he's got a quick punch. Here comes Greer. Mongoose keeps him back. Battle of the Rising Stars here, live from the Bonaventure Hotel. Round two of six. Another exchange where Greer coming in. Going for the body. Overall, Mongoose able to sort of hold him back here with 10 seconds. Ooh, Mongoose trying to land a couple body shots, and that's going to do it for round two. Javier Montelongo, the Mongoose, getting some love from this crowd. Joshua Greer over in his corner, though, seemingly alert, still still looking good as we go into round three. You know, kind of the theme of the evening tonight has been uh, experience versus, uh, you know, lack of their experience or you know the newbie and we've seen that you know when you get down in the ring it's just two guys it's two guys and four gloves and it's been fun to watch these matchups tonight here battle of the rising stars big john mccarthy one of our judges for the bout tonight we're going to round three jack reese our referee And now it's Greer that's going to take the center of the ring, try and get something going. But now he finds himself on the road with the Mongoose throwing those double shots. 
Greer working the body and look at six, seven punches thrown in a couple of seconds there from the Mongoose. Mongoose also taking shots on the inside though. The more, the more Greer stays inside, the more he's able to be effective. Mongoose with Greer up on the ropes a little bit now, makes a nice exchange there, catches a little bit of a left. Maybe gets a point or two out of that exchange, but uh, Greer fighting back off of the ropes now. A little bit of a push there, and uh, Jack Reese doing a good job backing him off. Mongoose seems to instinctively sort of want to grab or push sometimes when he gets a little adversity. Greer starting to show balance now on the exchanges, not backing up. There, Greer pushing in with his head a bit. There, Greer making a nice little right hand pop as he's starting to time his blows now. Mongoose continuing to move quickly though. His, his defense is solid. He continues to dodge punches and land a few himself. Greer on the ropes a bit. Mongoose now, I'm seeing him right above me here. Definitely see a little more agitation on his face. So he's taking some shots. Xavier tries to plow in with a right, doesn't connect. Greer doing a good job of coming in on the exchanges, matching the shots. And again, Greer uh, at six and one, two KOs. He ain't used to losing. That was a pretty big shot coming in there from Greer and that, that obviously uh, slowed the mongoose down there here into round three. And a big exchange uh, for Greer there towards the end of round three, I think might have secured that round for him. Mongoose continuing to play on the defensive a little bit, but also doing a fantastic job of moving and continuing to make Greer miss. And you know, that will also wear Greer down. So uh, as we go to round four, we're gonna see just exactly what the Mongoose can do. Mongoose, nine wins. Greer, six wins. Both have two KOs. Another great job, evenly matched fight here. It's what we do. Here we go, round four. Javier the Mongoose versus Joshua Greer Jr. out of Chicago. Joshua Greer has won his last three fights. And he actually beat Jesus Javier last March at Valentino's Event Center in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, big left misses as the mongoose ducks wisely. Javier the mongoose in the red and yellow trunks also with a great record nine and three. His last fight was a win and it was right here at the Bonaventure. pushing there but the mongoose gets a nice body shot in on Greer in that exchange.
Start to see now sort of a mutual respect going on in round four. Both fighters starting to feel the first signs of some real fatigue. Here comes Greer Mongoose on the ropes a little bit. Starts off with a nice left. Unable to finish though as Mongoose tucks his head in. Now Greer going for the inside body shot. There he goes, Greer's starting to grind. Mongoose, they're starting to grab each other now a little bit and try and fight for position. Big right for Mongoose it comes just a moment too late as Greer continues to, I think, has figured out now if he can keep his head more inside. Ooh, big left hits for Greer. Mongoose now in the corner. Greer starting to tee up, trying to work him in. Mongoose escapes the corner though and he's got Greer on the ropes with a nice right body shot. Neither fighter able to really come away with a decisive point advantage. Greer continues to land shots and score points off of his jab while Mongoose continues to score points off of his defense. So Ooh, big, big shots start to hit there in the last 10 seconds. As these guys are, are letting us know we're, we're going to go solidly into round six. Got us to fight, boys, here. All-star promotions, Battle of the Rising Stars. I'm sorry, we're going into round five. Great crowd, great turnout tonight, and some great fights. You're just joining us here late. We've only had one draw this evening. All other fights have been either knockouts, TKOs, or decisions and it's it's been exciting Ed Holmes Pete Hiranaka fantastic job with the mashups tonight we're round five and here comes Greer he uh, he was he wasn't sitting down he was bouncing around during that break big John McCarthy across the ring from me our lead judge this evening watching with an intentful eye as things unfold here. Ooh, big right comes in from Greer. Mongoose also lands with his left sort of simultaneously. Greer kind of the aggressor here. That was a little bit of a long tie up so Jack Reese steps in breaks it up a little bit. And what you don't really realize is some body shots here are connecting. Ooh, Reese tried to really sort of tee off there on the Mongoose, but Mongoose disrupts it, and now here he comes. Xavier's corner making a, a, a little a little point to not play the game and get tied up. Maybe wanting to see Xavier get into his own style and start to, to dictate the rhythm of the fight. It's one of the hardest things to do when you start to feel a little tired is to take control of the momentum. You got to dig. A little deeper, and that seems to be at this point anyway what Greer's doing. He's he's continuing to sort of force the action. Greer, a little bit of a left lands on the mongoose. Mongoose still moving around though, still on his feet, still moving left to right, still trying to lead and still answering most of the shots that Greer brings in. Crowd starting to get a little behind Xavier now as they're feeling time's running out, working up to the sixth round. The Mongoose trying to work that right in 
to try to set up the left coming in. Joshua Greer Jr. though is keeping his balance, keeping the mongoose on the ropes and now pushing him back a little bit. He gets out of it as we wind down to 10 seconds here in the fifth. There goes Javier trying to work a little bit on Greer there in the end of the round. Maybe scores a, a body shot or so. Very close overall from what I'm seeing here ringside. As we get ready for the sixth round. All-Star Promotions Battle of the Rising Stars. And of course, as usual, just a perfect example of what it means to be a part of All-Star Boxing. You're, you're talking about a lot of different things that go into what we're seeing here tonight. Over 20 years in the LA area for All-Star Promotions and this Battle of Rising Stars. Always a commitment to high class sportsmanship. Some of the best people in the industry involved. And uh, it reminds us that boxing is still great, even if, you know, maybe some of the greats in boxing have been disappointing. Round six, they tap gloves here at Battle of the Rising Stars. And here comes the mongoose. Bounces a right off the shoulder of Greer and kind of catches his chin, but. There's that quick punching style by the mongoose. He catches with a left. Greer comes right back though with a body shot. Ooh, Greer for a moment there got a, a, a good look. Starting to work, starting to work a little bit. He's got his glove out. Greer's got an issue. He wants a little bit of a, there he goes. <laughs> Greer again sort of sticking his glove out for a minute. Maybe feeling he's getting, he's getting pushed a little. I think it looks like Greer would rather stand about three feet away and just keep exchanging blows. That's what Greer wants to do. Mongo's seemingly tying him up. Seems like every time Greer starts to kind of get a punch or two going, Mongoose comes inside and ties him up. Mongoose lands a punch there himself though. And that could be scary for Greer. If he starts thinking too much about the offense, he may just get himself knocked out. Mongoose doing a lot of pushing. Ooh, Mongoose ate a, a right and then a big left. Mongoose with his glove up now. A lot of pushing going on. A little bit of a jab lance for Mongoose, but totally ineffective as he tripped almost at the same time. Wow, here comes Greer, less than a minute to go. Both guys seem to have their energy. They're just unable to really dissect the other guy and get a strategy. They're sort of grabbing, exchanging blows. Ooh, that time Greer tried to come in with a rock hard right and almost caught him that time. There you go, Greer showing a little frustration, pushing Javier back off the ropes. A couple of warriors right here going at it. Javier makes a nice left hand connection to the body and then dodges back and misses a big right from Greer. A couple warriors battling right there in that round. Good sportsmanship as well as they congratulate each other. And as much as I'd like to just say somebody stole it there at the end, it's hard to say. Punch is thrown. Even. Punch is landed. Unknown. 
kind of how I see it. Looking over at John McCarthy over there, he looks like he's already decided. He's he's like, yeah, you know, it's just another day at the office for me. I've I've seen this before, and uh, in his mind, he he knows the count, the punch count. It's all the rest of us that aren't sure. But another great matchup, and you know, the fun ones are the ones that are hard to call. So uh, again, hats off to Ed Holmes. Pete Hiranaka and uh, all the work that goes into getting these fights together. Ed does all the work. I don't, I'm not sure Pete does anything, but they both take the credit. <laughs> In fact, has anybody seen Pete tonight? Is he, is he here? Pete Hiranaka. No, but all joking aside, uh, they both do a fantastic job. They've both been in the business forever, and, and they know the L.A. boxing scene. It's grassroots. It's some of the best boxing you're going to find right here in the L.A. area. And that's what I like to see, the judges taking a little extra minute, maybe a little bit, a little bit, you know, unsure like I am about it. If we really had it together, I'd say go ahead and let us know on Twitter who you think won. Hashtag All Star Boxing. But we're not quite there yet. Great sportsmanship from Greer coming over, embracing Montalongo and his crew. Let's get the official. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have our decision. All three judges. Ringside scored about 58 to 55 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision, Joshua Green Jr. Well, there you go. Joshua Greer able to pull that one out from under Javier Montalongo on his home turf. And Greer, the outsider, goes to 7-1. To we'll be right back after this.